Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. And boys and girls, this is probably one of the worst Twins games I've ever seen in my life. Um, that's not, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but by far this is the worst game we've played all year. In fact, the game's not even over yet. I did, I don't know if this is against the game review rules or not, but we're in the top of the eighth inning and we're down by six. It's ten to four. I said, we're not coming back, so let's make a game review. Because, I mean, that's the point of it, right? It's to give you my opinion and, and my review of the game. So let's let's start with uh, one good thing that happened. Polanco hit the cycle. And that's pretty awesome. I mean, we'll go through that in a little bit. But, you know, we're in Philly. This is, I told you guys in the, in, in the game yesterday and uh, in, in the videos yesterday and in the previous days, this was going to be a big series for the Twins, you know. I mean, this has potential to be a World Series matchup. Maybe not this year. Next year, maybe. You know, in a couple years. But these are two good teams. One of the best teams in the AL right now. Uh, it's like us in Seattle, really. And then, obviously, Philly, the Dodgers. Those are good teams. So, possible. Right now, let's look at the box score. Four runs on ten hits, three errors. They have ten runs on ten hits, one error. But it is crappy. It is raining. It is cold. It's windy. It's not a fun time uh, to be playing baseball. And obviously that probably has a big factor in, you know, all the Twins pitchers. But, you know, we played catch-up in Kansas City. We're having to play catch-up now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. If it's just, you know, the first couple road games, it's still cold. I mean, it was cold in Kansas City. There's a little bit of rain there, too. I mean... It's just got it's, it's something you have to deal with. But let's go into the first inning here, and we'll get to Polanco and his cycle right after this. So we we did awful. I mean, from the start of the game, we did awful, and I did not get to see the start of it because I was at work. I started watching in the fifth inning, uh, in the bottom of the fifth inning. So it was what four to six at that time. But I mean, it did not get better. So first inning. We walk the first guy. Oda Rizzi went here. I, I took a picture of this. His first start. Let's see this here. His first start, he went six innings, one hit, one earned run, 11 Ks. I mean, literally. That was amazing. Tonight, he went .2. He went two-thirds of an inning, two hits, five runs, four of them earned one strikeout, and he walked three guys. Yeah, I think he walked three of his first seven. He walked the first batter of the game. And if you don't know, um, I can't remember where the statistic is from. Uh, I, th I Maybe A-Rod said it one time. That 80% of the time you walk the first batter of the game, he will score. Well, Andrew McCutcheon walked the first batter of the game. And then Gene Segura hit a double. Andrew McCutcheon scored. Segura went to third on the throwing error by Jonathan Scope. I don't know, you know, that's probably one of the three errors right there, but, I mean, that's not good. Uh, that's just like Barrios giving up, you know, a run in the first, you know, whatever, two batters. I mean, same thing here uh, with Oda Rizzi. The good thing is we struck out Harper. He struck out twice tonight. Um, that's that's great. We, he did walk, and I, it could have been called a strike. There were a couple of pitches in that at bat. There's been a couple of pitches in this game. That have not been called strikes for Minnesota. And that's been frustrating. But So Harper strikes out. That's great. Um, he's 0 for 4 tonight still. Uh, with a walk now. But um, anyways. After that Rice Hoskins singles. Scores. Uh, Gene Segura. It's 2-0. Ramuto walks. What the heck just happened there? I lost my screen. There we go. Uh, there's a mound visit. There's one. Oduble lines out. Two outs. But then Hernandez walks. There's the third walk. We take out... Um, Oda Rizzi, Michael Franco doubles, and that makes it five to nothing. That's not good, folks. That's not good. That's not how you want to start off a game. So we come back in the top of the third inning. Kepler hits a home run. Um, that was great. Uh, I think it was in the third inning. Let me go check that quick. Again, I was not watching, so let me go boop right here. And yes, Kepler hits a home run. That was great. Uh, Jorge Polanco. Uh, did get a, what was it, a triple in the first inning? Yeah, he tripled in the first inning, got a single in the third. 
hit the home run in the fifth, and we also scored again um, in that inning. And then in the seventh, he hit his double for the cycle. He is the first twin switch hitter to hit the cycle in Twins history, the 11th player to do so, first time in 10 years. Michael Kadair was the last uh, person to do that, the last twin to do that. Jason Kubel also did it that year. Uh, they said about five weeks apart, so... I mean, it's been 10 years. I actually remember watching that Michael Kadire game where he hit that, uh, that that cycle. That's incredible. I feel so old. But 10 years ago. So good for him. But here's the thing. Here's the, here's the most important thing to take away from this game. Besides it being super crappy and, you know, the Twins needed this game. But, hey, it's a three-game series. It's a long game. It's not over yet. Technically, they still have the ninth inning. They did not score any runs in the eighth. But here's the thing. Two games set, you know, we can come back tomorrow, forget about it, but three errors is not going to win you a lot of games, especially when you give up five runs in the first inning. That's not going to win you a lot of games. Uh, we get Arietta tomorrow. Which Arietta are we going to get, right? Are we going to get the really good Cubs Arietta, or are we going to get the struggling Phillies Arietta? You know, it's it, it depends, right? Whoever pitched tonight, I can't remember. Um, I guess I don't know who that is. Uh, he's pretty good. I've, I've heard he's pretty good um, for the Phillies. So, you know, he's he, we didn't get Nola, which I guess is good. But he's their second guy. Arietta's their third guy. So, you know, we get the top of the rotation. But, you know, we also get their, we get their two, three, and four guys. So we have a chance to, you know, come back tomorrow and do well. But now here's the thing. So we've, mo we've moved on from that. Let's go into the seventh inning. We have a chance. I mean, seventh inning, we, we've been crawling back a little bit, right? Crawling back a little bit. We were down uh, two to six. Uh, we made it two to five, then two to six. Then, what, four to five? No, four to six, sorry. Four to six, and then four to seven. And in the top of the seventh inning, Polanco gets his double to complete the cycle. Oh, I mean, I, you know what? I thought... Austin, Austin Dillo was going to hit that home run. I don't know if you guys are watching the game or not, but it was close to the warning track. I thought he was going to hit it. He, We did not score. We had no, Polanco got on base. He got a double with no run score. Or no, no outs. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. No outs, and we did not score the run. We were down by three at this point with three innings left to go, right? With one, seventh, eighth, ninth. And we had a double to lead things off. We had three innings to go. And I thought Ostillo hit that home run. That would have been fantastic. We would have only been down by one. It's a brand new ball game. But then in the bottom of the inning, just another single, hit batter, walk batter, you know, and then everything fell apart. And Rice Hoskins, bases loaded, hits a single down the left field line to Rosario. Rosario held the ball for like five minutes. I don't know what he's doing. And then threw it in. Andreanza didn't do anything with the ball. He held the ball, and then Bryce Harper scores. So, I know I'm not going through the box stats tonight, but that's a mental error. I mean, I don't know who exactly made all the errors, but Jonathan Scope made one uh, on a throwing error. I'm not sure, you know, like I said, I'm not sure about the other couple, but three errors is way too many. Let's talk about batting really quickly. I mean, Kepler, is he hit a home run. That's fine. Polanco has been doing great tonight, but everybody else, Gonzalez, absolutely garbage. And I don't know what his deal is. He cannot figure it out. I'm so frustrated with him because we brought him on here. I'm not saying he has to be the best player, but he has not done anything since that first game. He won us the game, uh, you know, the first game of the season, but he has not done a single thing. He's gotten one hit in like 19 other at-bats. He's like two for 20 right now. That is pathetic. And, I mean, nobody else is really doing better. We got 10 hits tonight, right? We're hitting the ball. Polanco has four of them. But, like, nobody else is squaring up the ball. Austin Dillo almost had a home run. Eddie Rosario, he, I think he got a hit tonight, too. But, like, nobody else is doing well. And the, and the thing that probably frustrates me the most about this game, besides the errors, besides just how bad we've been doing, our pitching's been awful, everything has gone wrong for the Twins. But... The thing that frustrates me the most is why is Buxton not playing? Is he still hurt from that one game in Kansas City? 
I mean, are we just resting him? I mean, Cave is not a bad player, but why is he not playing? Why is he not leading off? Why is Cruz not, you know, DHing, you know, once we're struggling in the third inning? Why are we not putting him in somewhere? He can play first base. Give him a glove. I mean, he can play right field. Just give him a glove, right? Give him a glove. We need him in the lineup. He's been doing great the last couple of games. Ostadillo gets the pinch hit in the sixth or seventh inning. Why? Why? I'm so frustrated with Aldelli about how he's doing this lineup. I get that, like, he's trying to, you know, figure out who's been hot, who's lately. I don't know. Matchups, maybe. But, like, Ostadillo has been doing great. Cruz has been doing great. And I, I expressed this in the, the uh, game where he was going to be playing in the outfield. Why is he not, right? If he's hitting the ball well, we need to put him in the lineup somewhere. Buxton. I don't know why Kepler's leading off still, but Buxton is fast, and he's been doing well. Why is he not playing? He had a struggling series in Kansas City, but he was also hurt. I I mean, I'm just confused with what Baldelli's trying to do. He's not putting our starters out there every day, and he's giving guys rest when they've had a day of rest, or they've had two days of rest now, or... I just, I'm so confused. And that's frustrating, especially when, you know, you commit three errors and you lose 10 to four. It could, I mean, we're in the top of the ninth inning here. Um, I mean, already one out. Andreanza grounds out. But, like, why is Andreanza playing? Like, where is he playing? Third base? I guess he was probably moved. Gonzalez start there, maybe? I'm not sure. But, I mean, seriously. what What are we doing here? And it's just frustrating. I mean... Throw the game out the window. Look to tomorrow. Take take our cycle and, and move on, right? I mean, that's pretty much what we have to do at this point. Uh, but it's a, it's a long season, right? It's a long season. Take one game at a time, uh, and we'll get the two tomorrow. I mean, I said we could drop one in Philly. Hopefully that's today, and we'll get the next two, and we'll be back on track. But a little bit frustrating of a game today. Uh, Max Kepler is up here with uh, two strikes on him already. I mean, and then there will be two outs. Last out's a matter of time, and the game will be over. So that's all I got for you today in this one, the game review. Uh, you know, come back tomorrow for another one. Obviously, hopefully it's a better game. Um, Arietta versus, I think it is Pineda. It's up. Max Kepler just struck out. We're down to our last out. Okay. But um, I think it's Pineda if, and then Barrios Gibson. I think that's what it is. So... Hopefully Pineda will come back um, and, and do what he did in the first game because I know Barrios and Oda Rizzi haven't. So I've made this video long enough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to come back tomorrow and we'll see you next time. Peace out.